Hey, welcome to CF Moto Side Rider. My name is Roland. I'm here to talk to you about the five reasons you might not want to buy a CF Moto side by side or ATV. First of all, the CF Moto Z Force 800EX is mine. It has 1300 kilometers on it. The CF Moto C Force 500 Classic is my son's. He's 18. It has only 300 kilometers on it, but we've used them quite a bit, even though this one doesn't have a lot of mileage, just been through a lot. So let's get into the first reason why you might not want to buy a CF Moto product. The brakes, these brakes are so noisy and it's the brake pads, it's the consistency, the makeup of the brake pads. They squeal all the time. It's getting worse. When I go to buy new brake pads for this machine, I'm gonna try and buy something else, a different brand. Hopefully I can find something that will fit on here. I know it's not a big thing, but you know what? Once in a while it gets on my nerves. Most of the time I don't even hear it because you hear the motor and you got your helmet on, you don't hear it. But just once in a while it bugs me and I kind of wish it wasn't there, but I can live with it. The next thing is low end power. Well, with the Z-Force, there's no such thing. It's got all kinds of power right from when you first take off till you're full out. It's got all kinds of power. But I noticed on the Seaforce 500, and I've heard other people talk about it, when you take off, there's a lot of low end power. It doesn't have that jump to it. And I know that for most riders, that's fine. Like maybe CF Moto designed it that way as a safety reason, I don't know. But for most riders, they'd be happy with it. But for those younger guys who like that power, these things aren't gonna have a lot of power, but there is a fix for this. You can do clutch work with it. Now, there's another YouTube channel called Redneck Garage. His name is Steve. He is working with Main Street Cycle and another company, and they are making these kits. And they're actually gonna be for sale at Main Street Cycle. And these kits, you'll be able to get them from Main Street Cycle only and put them into your machine. You can get a mechanic, put them in, or you can do it yourself. There's different kits for whatever you wanna use it for. Maybe you want high-end power, you want low-end torque, whatever. There's all different ranges of kits that you can get for your clutches, and that'll be a fix for your machine. But my son, he's quite happy with the way it is. I've drove this ATV, and I find it more than efficient. I just took it for a rip up here before making this video to warm it up, and it had, had all kinds of power, really. I think it's fine. But when you hit that mid-range, it just takes off like a rocket. There's all kinds of power in this. Now, reason number three is you might not like paying less money for more machine. Like I bought this thing here at a lower cost than what you can get another brand's machine for. It comes with power steering, comes with a winch, came with a roof, came with all the signals, um, a horn, everything. It's street legal. It comes with some sexy looking wheels and tires. Maybe you're the kind of person who likes to pay a lot more money and not get all that stuff on your side-by-side -side or your ATV. Now this one here, it's pretty snazzy looking. It doesn't have got the fancy wheels on it, but it's got some good accessories on it. It's got all these on it. It's got a digital gauge. It has mirrors and it looks really good. And it was really a good affordable price. So I think, but you know, I got 1300 kilometers on this. I've ride it sort of hard, but not real hard but it's a very reliable machine. And it all depends on how you ride it. If you're putting it in water, like if you think you're riding a boat and you sink it all the time, well, then you're gonna have issues. They're not boats, they're meant for land. <laughs> but you know what? It's a darn good machine. If you ride it properly, you're gonna be okay. If you wanna ride it rough and be really, really hard on it, you're gonna have issues, but that's the same with any brand, right? There's gonna be repairs and there will always be repairs. But if you just ride moderately, you'll be fine. It's pretty tough and I'm quite happy with it. Now the fourth reason you might not want to buy a CF Moto side-by-side -side or ATV is maybe you don't like attention. Like maybe you, like when you go into town or you go out in the trails and you got people stopping you and coming up to you and talking to you and asking you, what kind of machine is that? That thing looks so good, what is that? And all this sort of thing, all that attention, then this machine isn't for you because they are really nice looking machines and just look at the colors, look at the characteristics of it. It looks amazing. I go into town with mine or gas stations and people are coming up to me saying, hi, that's a great looking machine. What make is that? It's a CF Moto. So if you're not looking for attention, you don't like talking to people, don't buy one. Now for the fifth and the last reason, you might not want to buy a CF Moto product is maybe you don't like being part of a great community. I'm telling you, I cannot believe 
the people I have met since I bought this online, like Facebook or Instagram, on YouTube, I've met a ton of great people and all support each other. You're looking for parts and accessories, you want reviews on parts and accessories, or you want to learn how to fix something. People in these communities really help you out. And if you're not looking for great community and someone to help you out when you have questions, don't bother buying one. Now I know this video was a bit sarcastic and just throwing a bit of fun out there, but honestly, like I said, I have a lot of kilometers on this already. It's been really reliable. I've had a ton of fun with it. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's an attention getter and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. My son's machine, it's a good looking machine. It doesn't have a lot of kilometers on it yet, but he's taken it places and all over on the lake and in the trails and it's held up for him. And he's really, really enjoying it. He's having a good time with it. And I've drove it and I like it. So my objective with this video is just to bring attention to the brand and it gets a bad rap out there. They've been around for years. They're improving all the time. CF Moto is really stepping up their game and it shows. And I just want to get the message out there that if anybody's looking for a CF Moto and if they want to get in at a good price and they want to buy a machine that's reliable and looks great, you'll see people out there with bad reviews. Don't listen to it. There's a lot more good reviews than there is bad. And I would also like to say, how did those people use their machines? Did they know what they're doing? Did they do the regular maintenance as well? I have to wonder. So be sure to go right here. I did a review on this CF Moto Z Force 800 at 1000 kilometers. You can get my full review by watching this video. And I wanna thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next video.